clarify his initial statement? Uh, he suggested that you supported privatization, Social Security, and fair tax. Could you clarify that? I think he said flat tax, if I'm correct. I actually would be more in line with the flat tax more than I would the fair tax after studying them. So whichever one he said, I, I support the flat tax. Now, what was your other question? He, he suggested you supported privatization of Social Security. I think what he's talking about is, uh, I think in 2004 I was on President Bush's panel when that issue was coming around. I sat on the stage with him at Robinson and Little Rock. And I can tell you that any system right now is better than what we currently have because that money's not going to be there when I retire. I say we leave it alone for the people uh, that that can affect. And people like me, I can make my own choice. I can tell you the money's not going to be there when, when I get to that age. So generally when people refer to privatization, they say giving people the option to invest in some of their money in a 401 type account. Is that what you're talking about? I personally would like that option for me. Right. And then when you say you support a flat tax, you're talking about a state flat tax or a federal flat tax? I would support both. I think that uh, to me that puts the taxes in your hands. You can decide whether or not how much taxes that you're going to pay by the goods and services that you buy. A flat income tax or a flat sales tax? Just a flat sales tax. Okay. And then you made reference to the state being 39th in the nation. What, what are you referring to in terms of economic development and taxes? Uh, I think that's a study that was done on business friendliness uh, by Alec, I believe. Uh, sorry. Um, that shows Arkansas is 39th as far as business friendly. Okay. And then he suggested that, that if you had your way, the Supreme Court would be control, still in control of the schools. How do you respond to that? I, I think that's a fear tactic that he uses uh, to justify raising taxes. Because if you go back to that particular year where all the taxes that were uh, raised are on goods and services, you're going to see hundreds of millions of dollars in, in tax surplus. That money was not given back to the people of Arkansas, like he said. Uh, this is considered kind of a down ballot race. I mean, I know it's right underneath governor, but when people go out, probably November, things will be thinking about Senate, maybe Congress, maybe governor, it's just the reality. How do you get people fired up and interested about this race? Well, I think uh, showing a clear contrast, people of Arkansas really don't want career politicians this year. And I can tell you, I'm very excited about them going to the polls thinking about the Senate race and thinking about congressional races. We've got uh, John Bozeman that's going to help me out tremendously on the Senate races and all four Cong congressional races. We've got great candidates in that race as well. So I'm fine with them going to the ballots thinking that because in the general ballot, uh, the Republicans are leading this year. So you think even if they don't know anything about your particular race, you stand to benefit? I think I do stand to benefit. However, I think that the voters this year want to educate themselves. And I think they'll do their homework and realize that we have a 14-year career politician or we have a small business owner. I'm the small business owner. Any other questions? We thank you very much for your time. Thank you all very much. <laughs>